So I'm not putting a disclaimer up because I'm not showing any other videos or anything today. I'm just reading some of your emails that you guys have sent to me. And um, I just wanted to share some of your thoughts and comments. So um, I got an email from somebody who said um, she read this comment online today and it made her feel a little bit sick to her stomach. And she said someone I know was talking about a TV show that they like and she said it was the only one she watches because she uh, kept thinking about what an upline elite told her. And I don't know who may have said this to her, but she says there is no PV in TV. Any deeper, she's just not going to be gulping down the Kool-Aid. She may drown in it, and it's absolutely heartbreaking. And yeah, you're right. Um, you know, paparazzi is supposed to be done in your free time. You're supposed to do it. It's supposed to be fun. And it's supposed to be so you can enjoy your life, you know. But the way these upline elites talk to their downlines, it, it makes me absolutely sick. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys something that um, Savvy Be Smart sent me. So let me put this up on screen real quick and move this over. So here is <laughs> this necklace. I wondered why I haven't sold one of these in four years. Look at the pic of the model. It looks like one of the beads is missing. So here's here's the necklace. And I had those in my store and I hated them. All right, and then here's the, the model. And look right there. There is a bead missing on the model. <laughs> so it's like, mm, yeah, good job there, paparazzi. So nice job there paparazzi so anyway uh now i'm just gonna go back to reading your emails because you know i do like to keep you guys private but i like to share what you guys send me because some of them are laugh worthy okay all right so the other day uh gosh was that monday morning tuesday morning this week has been such a blur you guys um it really has been um so the consultants that I called out on their paparazzi possible posts where one was like, she's so blessed because she joined the company and, and she did it for the discount and she posted the wrong income disclosure statement. Um, uh, apparently, um, <laughs> somebody uh, said, where's the updated income disclosure? And... Uh, someone responded, I have removed your other comment and reached out to you privately. I also see your, I see you're also a consultant. So my favorite thing about paparazzi is the loving and encouragement we give with each other. Well, she's trying to protect you, you dumb bitch. Uh, sorry, Kristen. Um, but she's, she's basically saying to you, you're not showing the correct income disclosure statement. So you know, if you're going to be a leader, you should actually lead by example and post the correct stuff on your posts. Okay. So, uh, here's another one that you guys sent me. Uh, this is from her upline. So let me put this up on my screen so we can make it all big and pretty. So I'm guessing this is the upline's, uh, paparazzi possible to go with the challenge that they got from corporate. I challenge you to choose an affirmation and focus on it all day long. I anticipate extraordinary things happening for me today. Here's a list. I am amazing. The things that make me different are the things that make me me. I will not compare myself to people on the internet. <laughs> But yet you guys do, like, all the fucking time. I am not controlled by the opinion of others. No, that is true. I believe in myself. Yes, you narcissistic person, you do. I'm beautiful inside and out. Okay, if you were truly beautiful inside and out, you would be honest with people. That's what makes somebody beautiful, is honesty, in my opinion. So, if you want to be considered beautiful inside and out, um... Be honest with your downline. Be honest with people when they ask you about this company and signing up. You know, that's that's the honest truth. Sorry. As you can see, the uh, psoriasis is still all over my face, all over my head. 
I'm valuable just because I'm me. Yes, everybody has their own value. And if you're valuable to somebody that's an upline, it's because you are making them money. So they're valuable. You are valuable to them by just being you and buying every day at 12 noon. <laughs> I speak to myself with kindness. I am awesome. Okay, I am amazing and I am awesome are two things that are exactly the same. Get a thesaurus. Okay, I offer a unique perspective. Okay, I listen to others with kindness and an open mind. No, you don't. No paparazzi hun has ever listened to anybody with open-mindedness and kindness. Otherwise, they wouldn't be deleting comments. Case in point, okay? They delete my comments like all the time. All right, I don't compare myself to others. I am unique and amazing. Okay, so don't compare yourself to people on the internet, but don't compare yourself to others. Again, this stupid list is like a constant repeat. I am kind and smart and important. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's see. Let me move this over so I can get to the next one because I want to keep her information private. Alright, so here's the next one. I have the right to say no and mean it. Yeah, you do. And so do the people you talk to about this company. They have the right to say no and mean it too. So don't keep hounding them when they've told you no once. They mean no. It's like, ugh, it's like kind of like a rapist mentality. And I hate saying that, but no means no. No means, you know, no doesn't mean try again later. No means fucking no. Okay? It just means no. Uh, I can reach my dreams. I don't need to be perfect to be accepted. I belong. I am good enough exactly as I am. I am kind to myself. I deserve to be happy. I can make mistakes and still be loved. Okay, let's go to the next one. That's the first one. All right, here's the last one. Oh, where are we? I can make mistakes and still be loved. I am safe and secure. I am loved and more people care about me than I realize. My body and I are friends and we work together as a team. I can persevere and do things. I am strong. I know my baby steps add up to big steps. I am not responsible for how other people talk or act. I trust myself. I love and approve myself. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for sending this to me because I was just, I was dying when I read this. All right. So, uh, good morning. This is what my upline sent me as a messenger group chat. I have been done with paparazzi. I don't sell, so I don't have any PV. I will not purchase if there's any lead and nickel jewelry. And I responded, I said, this must be her good deed for the day. It must be your paparazzi possible good deed. <laughs> and then from one of the Huns that messaged me, so the person who I posted, where's your income disclosure? Uh, she private messaged her and here's the private message. Okay, keep selling your nickel free or is it even nickel free? And I don't sell anymore. I'm anti MLM. I have my own business that is run by me, not paparazzi and not you. I, you still work for a company, not yourself. You're not a business owner. If it was your own business, why can't you sell anywhere else? With your own business, you can sell wherever. It's not your own business then. And again, the only way to make money is by having a downline. So good day to you. She said that to the blessed woman who signed up for the discount and has now got a huge team. And then this is her response to her. You obviously didn't do your research on this business and works. I And I am sad you truly... You don't truly understand it, but I'm absolutely fine with not agreeing on things. It's called being an adult. Bye, love. Um, no, I think the uh, young lady who asked where your updated uh, income disclosure is, is right on the money. Uh, Miss Maya Lee is right on the money, Kristen. And she called you out and you did not like it at all. You did not like that she called you out for being a scammer. Okay, oh, so there's more crappy. So what is this crappy? Oh, let's see, more people are getting desperate to uh, recruit. Oh, let's see. 
All right. I don't know who Jewelry Jezebel is. I don't know who she is, but she quit, and yay for her. So Jewelry Jezebel recently quit. My time's up. My secret is I've decided after five years with paparazzi, I'm resigning as a consultant. I have reached all of my goals, and I have made many friendships, some that will be transactional and will end the minute you made that post, I'm sorry to say. Many friendships, some even I consider family. I'm blessed beyond measure. But trust me, the minute you stop buying PV, those family members, family members are going to go away. Case in point. <clears throat> I'm so very thankful for that time I had with the company. I still love the jewelry. This decision has nothing to do with the company, the founders, or the jewelry itself. <laughs> Sorry, call bullshit. It has everything to do with the company, it has everything to do with the founders, and it has everything to do with the jewelry itself. One, the company is going through massive litigation with several different states and more to come. Secondly, the founders are full of shit, faker than fake, and lying t through their teeth, and the quality of the jewelry has gone downhill. Case in point, the tray of mashed potatoes, the stupid saddlebag earrings, and the stupid fringe necklaces where the fringe tassel isn't even lining up. So, so I, I call bullshit on your post, but yes, you, you still need to be toxically positive, and I get that. My family is the reason I started selling with the company, and my family is the reason why I'm resigning. Yeah, because she learned that she's spending way too much time doing this, and she's neglecting her family. Now let the fun begin. Preclaims for the next week as they come in will still be $5. All album, albums here on out will be $2.00. For each piece. Thank you all for your love and support for the past five years. I have always said that I have the best customers. So she's now trying to get rid of her inventory and she's selling it for what paparazzi would buy it back from her for, but she's selling it to her customers for $2 a piece. So if you're a consultant and you, and you wanted something that she was selling, you could get it for cheaper than you would through paparazzi. But, you know, if she gets caught doing that, she can never come back. So. <sighs> do, do, do. All right. Oh, yes. That was something. Uh, as you all know, Nina Garcia recently quit paparazzi. She was uh, one of the gals in Florida that had a lot of uh, people... Uh, Spanish speaking uh, in her downline and she quit. She went to a company, another multi-level marketing company called Nice and Bella. Uh, they also sell jewelry and other stuff. Uh, but her videos are all over YouTube uh, showing how you can enroll in Nice and Bella. So she's doing how-to videos on how to sign up for Nice and Bella. And she even, I mean, it's all in Spanish, but she even mentioned Klarna so you can do your online payment through Klarna and split it up into more payments. And I'm sorry, but that is just wrong. You should not be doing that. But, you know, that's just me too. Um, she left one MLM for another and she's got her downline following her and, and it's kind of sad. So anyway, uh, this one, 13 minutes of fun. Thank you guys for constantly sending me awesome emails and uh, commentary, uh, it's great, keep it coming. And uh, I'm gonna be heading back to work today after a few days of recovery. And uh, hopefully I can make it through the day without too much pain, because when I sit for too long it hurts and I need to lay down. So let's hope I can make it through the day. I did get up and do my hair and my makeup though. So yay! All right. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. I don't even know what day it is today. What day is it today? I think it's Friday. Is it Friday? It's Friday. <laughs> all right. Happy Friday, you all. Have a great day. Bye.